to Elizabeth Hogarth Designs. I begin my season as a brand ambassador for Graphic 45, which I am absolutely thrilled about. And I'm going to begin by showing you my creations with the Couture collection. Tomorrow, Monday the 20th of June, you're going to see my first blog for Graphic 45 and there'll also be a video to show you how to make one of the cards that I'll show you a little bit later on in this video but today we're going to be making one of these cards which is a, an easel card really with a little bit of a difference so you can see this one and a slightly smaller one and then I'll move on to show you these makes in a little bit more detail. The card I'm going to show you today is a version of an easel card. For this particular one, I use the larger note cards, which are absolutely stunning. But I want to make a slightly smaller version today to make it easier to send by post. So I'm going to use these beautiful images here. So as you can see, it will lie flat for posting. However, a card like this will probably need an A4 envelope. So we're going to make one that's slightly smaller. To begin with, you need a piece of card. This is a, like an ivory colour. Um, and it measures 9 and 3 quarter inches by 6 and a half inches. So we're going to score at three and a quarter inches and then I'm going to turn and score down to this center fold line here at three and a quarter inches I find it easier to flip the card and then score again at three and a quarter inches and then I fold the card in half burnish that score line and then I'm going to use scissors you can use your guillotine or a cutting blade to score down to the central fold line and then the center panel we're going to fold inwards to that central score line and then the two outer panels you want to give yourself a little bit more of a wiggle room so just cut away a little bit more to that fold line and then from the centre point to the outside edge you're going to form a triangle and then fold the line down do the same again so from the center point out to the edge and then fold down and then you'll find that you'll need to crease again to allow each one of these stand upwards when you open the card up so that's the point where the panels will then sit these are the three panels and when you come to stick the outside edge leave yourself a little triangle at this point to allow this panel to open up without affecting the central one so I'm going to go ahead now and stick these panels down. For this particular card, the easels stand quite well on their own, but if you find that you need to have a stopping point, then you can use the ephemera pieces. I've still got 
a few more pieces left. So I might use the flowers or I've got a tiny little peacock square here. Um, and you can use that on the side panels as well. I quite like the way that they're sitting on their own. You can, of course, add a sentiment as well. But there's our finished card. Here are both versions. You can see that you can go large or small. And they do lie flat for posting. And they are a great way to use this particular collection. This is the first of my other makes. This is made with a tonic handbag die. The Graphic 45 papers are brilliant for making boxes and bags, well virtually anything. The paper is of such high quality and the designs work brilliantly together. So along with the handbag I've made a coordinating card and this I posted on Ladies Day because it is very much like the Ascot Royal Races. And here you can see that the papers on the handbag are also used to stamp out and paper piece this dress and the hat onto the lovely young lady. I made a quick cover for my next notebook and this is one of those note cards that I have layered onto a craft consortium die and then I've used some of these smaller panels and then mixed and matched it with some of the papers. This one took a little bit longer to make, it's a bit of a labour of love. I've made it really because I'm going to store one of my mum's symbols in here um, and then maybe pop it up onto the wall. But these are all the things that she would have loved. She would have loved the style of the ladies, the colours, the little bit of nod to her sewing skills and then the added details with the shoes and the matching paper and handle on the side. I made another handbag using the COVID boxes. You remember those? If not, take a look at my Belle Fleur video. And then I've used the sticker on the front to embellish it. And then one of the smaller note cards on the back. But I absolutely adore the colours of this peacock paper i think i'd have to get a whole pad of these i would never tire of using these papers and then we've gone back to some clean and simple cards and this is why i love graphic 45 because you can go from something like this that really would become a family keepsake but then because the elements can be broken up and layered in different way you can use so many of them to make your clean and simple cards so you can use just small elements and never throw away any of your strips of graphic 45 paper because you can use them to embellish your cards so you might not think of these being typically graphic 45 but i think they work beautifully and personally i would love to have this as a gift set and then, of course, you can make your envelopes to match as well. And then pop everything inside. And you've got a really classy gift and a gift box. And then finally, this is a sneak peek of the blog post that will be up on the Graphic 45 website on Monday the 20th. This is a tuxedo card. So I made this particular one. Um, in honour of my dad, because not only is it Father's Day, it would have been his uh, 101st birthday at the end of June. And then, of course, this one is for my mum, because of the classy ladies. Again, I like making cards that have dimension, but also lie flat for posting. So these tiny little stamps 
are perfect for that and then you can add all of the papers as you so wish and then this one here is for my lovely friend Moira who I've been thinking of a lot lately and these would have been her colours she would have loved the paper flowers and or everything about graphic 45 so as I say take a look on the graphic 45 blog and then if you take a look on the YouTube channel you'll also see how to make them but please do share your makes with me and let me know what you think and what collection you would like to see next I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these makes this is a really beautiful collection and I'm absolutely delighted to be working with the team at graphic 45 do let me know what you think of these projects what you think of graphic 45 as a whole what you would like to see me make next and please do support me by subscribing to this channel and taking a look and leaving a comment on my first blog and video as a graphic 45 brand ambassador thank you for spending the time with me today and i look forward to welcoming you to elizabeth hogarth designs again soon bye bye for now mm -hmm.